The Primus Apex display system on Pilatus PC-12NG aircraft displays graphical weather on a moving map. The weather information is received from XM satellite data transmissions. The various XM weather products are valuable tools that can help the pilot assess weather conditions along the route of the flight. To access the graphical weather, click on the weather button. This displays a drop-down menu containing the various graphical weather products. Multiple weather products can be selected and displayed simultaneously. NEXRAD, or Next Generation Radar, is a network of Doppler radars operated by the National Weather Service. NEXRAD data is collected from sites around the country and integrated into a mosaic image. NEXRAD provides strategic weather information. However, it is important to note that the images can be in excess of 20 minutes old due to the time required to collect, combine, and transmit the information to the aircraft. This delay should be considered when using NEXRAD for tactical deviation decisions. Onboard weather radar should be used for real-time weather information. Select Satellite from the drop-down menu to display a satellite mosaic of cloud cover. Cloud temperatures are estimated at various altitudes across the country and converted into estimated cloud heights. Select Winds to display the wind speed and direction for the selected altitude. Move the cursor over the altitude window and rotate the scroll knob to change the altitude. Storm cell heights are only available when NEXRAD is selected. The tops are displayed in flight levels. The speed and direction of cell movement is also shown. Lightning displays cloud-to-ground lightning strikes detected by the ground-based National Lightning Detection Network. This information can be paired with NEXRAD images to get a comprehensive view of where the most severe weather may be. Turbulence shows areas of forecast turbulence for the selected altitude. The color shading indicates the intensity of the turbulence. Turbulence is exclusive of any other selection. All other XM weather selections must be deselected from the menu before it can be displayed. Echo tops show the maximum altitude of precipitation returns as detected by radar. The Echo tops legend is color coded in thousands of feet. Select TFR to see temporary flight restrictions graphically on the map. The TFR shape is shown on the display along with the label box. Click on the label box to display specific information about the TFR. Areas affected by airmets and SIGMETs can be graphically displayed on the map, either independently or together. The map legend is color-coded to show the type of airmet or SIGMET. Click on the border to display additional information about the airmet or SIGMET. Select NEXRAD coverage to see current radar coverage. NEXRAD coverage is used to confirm that the area of the NEXRAD display being viewed is monitored by radar. To reduce map clutter, XM weather data is removed from the display at specific map ranges. For more information, refer to the Honeywell Pilot's Guide. A time monitor is displayed for each weather product that is selected and shows the time since the data was compiled and created by the data provider. The total data latency, including the time to collect and transmit the data by the National Weather Service, can exceed 15 to 20 minutes. The time monitors are normally displayed in white. If the map range is set beyond the range that the selected XM weather option can be displayed, the time monitors will be shown in gray. If any XM weather product, with the exception of wind and turbulence, has not been updated within 45 minutes, the time monitor is displayed in amber. Wind and turbulence will be shown in amber after 180 minutes if the data has not been updated. XM weather data services provide pilots with valuable tools that when used correctly can help in the strategic avoidance of weather 
resulting in safer and more efficient flights. To sign up for XM Weather Data Services, contact the Honeywell Global Data Center.